Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. All right, check it out, man. I got a special vlog for y'all today, man. I'm out on my Hobie for the second time and the first time in saltwater. That's right, y'all. That's right. We're taking the Hobie out to the saltwater where it was meant to be. Headed towards the marshes. Headed towards the marshes. So, um, what is my goal today? I'm trying to catch my very first fish on my new Hobie, okay? Once again, this is the second time I've ever been on this boat. This is the third time I've ever been on a kayak in my entire life. Keep that in mind before you make your comments, okay? So yeah, um, my goal today is to catch my first fish on my Hobie. I don't care what it is, a trout, a red, a flounder, sheephead, um, ladyfish, um, hardhead, gaff top, bottlenose, dolphin, I don't care. I just wanna catch something. This one fish on my Hobie and um, yeah, so I can christen it and it can be official, like an official boat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, official boat. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try not to get lost out in these marshes. And um, worst comes to worst, I got my whistle. See that whistle? Um, I can scream for help. And um, I can swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and do it. So can I catch my first fish on my Hobie the first time I head out to the saltwater? I think I can do it. Yeah, ankle trolley would be nice. My own. Oh, we on, baby. There we go. There we go. Right, See if I can land it first fish on. Enjoy the vlog. Let go. Well, I expect uh, a, a good report soon uh, to be seen on YouTube. There you go. What's your name? Bowman. Bowman. Henry Ray Bowman. Bowman. Right now. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Look me up. Fish and trips. Oh, a plugger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got CCA blades with plugger. Okay, plugger. Fish and trips. Fish and trips. Right. Fish and trips. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Be safe. Nice you too. So, I believe the marsh is about two miles away from um, the boat launch. So, I have my Google Maps, have my Garmin Fish Finder with my waypoints, kind of help me find my way back. I'm kind of worried because, as you can see back there, kind of dark. Now, my radar says that um, that cloud or possible storm is supposed to be heading like south opposite away from me so that's good so i'm kind of leery about getting too far i know there's a couple of spots i can kind of take shelter at if it does start to rain as far as like some overpasses so yeah but all in all smooth little ride got a nice little breeze wasn't planning on starting to fish this late because it's like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. But my rods, they came in yesterday, so I had to go pick them up from the post office, and the post office didn't open up until like 7.30. So, got my rods, headed out to um, test out this marsh, and um, see, can we get that first fish on the Hobie? I don't know, man. It's kind of scary, because once again, this is like, the third time I've ever been on a kayak, but you know, there's only one way to get over fear and that's to face your fears. So to be out here, you know, in this bay, heading towards marshes with boats and water and et cetera by myself, eh, eh, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm prepared. Got my PFD, got everything leashed down. Got a game plan that if I roll, how to get back on the boat. So we'll see, man. We're gonna stop at this next point. It's a little railroad crossing. Cause that wind is picking up. And I do not want to get caught out here 
and etc. And I see some boats over here as well. So it might be a sign. That's a good spot to try to fish at. I talked to another guy, is you know, at the boat launch. He said it was kind of shallow back there. And um, the water's kind of hot, so he wasn't sure if um, the fish were in that shallow water because it's too hot. So they're probably heading towards deeper water. So I think the first spot I'm going to try is this bridge. And I think I see some boaters and kayakers over here. So one way to try. And like I said, I'm kind of worried about that dark mass of clouds behind me. I don't want to get too far away just in case I need to seek shelter. Of course, the first time I come out to test out my hobby on salt water, there's a storm a brewing. But you know, without a little drama, this wouldn't be Fish and Chips channel. You know what I'm saying? I bring drama, baby. We taking adventures, baby. We don't do no boring kayak videos, baby. You know what I'm saying? We might die today in the storm. As long as I get a million views, I'm okay with dying, okay? Only if you get a million views. All right, come on, let's go. All right, let's go, 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 go. Good, how you doing? Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Neil Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. All right, check it, man. I got a simple goal today. This is going to be the first time I've taken my new kayak. Bam! My new hobby. That's my new hobby, y'all. Um, out to the salt water. So, yeah. Um, one goal in mind. Try to catch my first fish on my kayak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I mention this is only the second time I've ever been on this kayak? And only the third time I've ever been on a kayak? Let me live. Let me live. I know y'all gonna be in the comments. You doing it wrong. I know I'm doing it wrong. Let me learn, okay? Let me learn. <sighs> Sorry for yelling. All right, so I got one goal. Catch my first fish on my kayak. That's it. That's all I wanna do. I think I can do it. There we go. Hey, 
go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Be a red, baby. Enjoy the vlog. Throws away, baby. All right, we're good. All right, so I have about a two mile track to get to the Mars system that I'm trying to go to. Um, this channel is pretty, pretty, pretty wide, man. Um, definitely as a new kayaker um, you have to keep your head on a swivel because these boats will kill you bro I'm telling you man you got to make sure that they see you they got these weights some slow down some speed up so the thing I learned is that when boats go flying by make sure that you turn into the wake turn into it cuz I don't want that weight hitting me sideways and flipping me boy cuz um yeah man Ain't trying to live that life. Nope. Nope. So I got a couple of upgrades to the kayak, man. When you buy a kayak, it's like a never-ending, a never-ending purchase of accessories. You're always posting purchasing like different accessories and you think you're done buying stuff, but you buy more stuff. <sighs> One thing I had to do, I bought like a $35 PFD. It was super uncomfortable, it was riding up, it was hurting my back. So I had to upgrade to this at Academy ones that kind of inflate if you fall in has a manual little thing right here so much better man it's light it's not as hot it's 119 dollars ah, but it's worth it man your your comfort is priceless man so yeah we got that upgrade also to make sure that these boaters can see me got a little emergency whistle yeah so we got that just in case dudes want to be texting and boating so yeah, man, um, like I said, we got about a two-mile track. I think I'm at halfway there. Am I coming to the entrance? I think I've been here like once before, um, maybe like a month ago, the first time I ever went kayak fishing with MDLR Fishing. And this is where he took me at when he let me borrow um, his kayak. It's the thing that kind of made me fall in love with kayak fishing. So it's kind of returning to that spot where the love began and see what I can do, man. So. Once you get to the marshes, we'll get started. Let us go with it. Let go! Let's get to it. That, uh, that fishing trip or what? up, baby? What's up, fishing trip? All this new kayak! There you go, man. Got to break it in, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. There aren't even enough to work on the kayak since the bowl, man. Well, I appreciate you coming out. It was a good try. <laughs> Maybe next time, you know? <laughs> That hubby doesn't even have a scratch on it. <laughs> He's got it a couple weeks ago, right? Yep, like a week ago. It's only yeah. my second time on it. Uh-huh. I want one that left you the message about uh, bleeding the, the fish with sticking your thumb. Oh, yeah, that? that's sad to say. You got all and Yeah, you yeah. Can't do it, man. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Huh? Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you just pop your thumb, you pop some blood vessel, man. Yeah, I know it works, but yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, I'm Lonnie, by the way. So. Say it again, Lonnie. Lonnie. Yeah. Lonnie. Yeah. Uh, who's that? This is Dustin. Dustin and Lonnie. Nice yeah. to meet y'all, man. Nice What's your you? YouTube channel? Fish and Fish trips. trips. How did you recognize me in the middle of nowhere? Because <laughs> uh, that Hobie kayak. I mean, you know, oh, okay. Videos yeah. Subscribers. So I see. I see you all the time. Lonnie you can't fish Lonnie. worse man, but you make me laugh. <laughs> I'm just telling you straight up. <laughs> hey, that's my whole philosophy. <laughs> We're not here on this for education. We're doing this for entertainment purposes. You do entertain, man. Really. Yeah. Your channel's great. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. 
I mean, it's growing fast. I remember when you just had like a thousand, man, when I first joined. Oh, you thought you wanted the day ones yeah, then? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just came to start. This guy can't fish, but he sure makes me laugh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ankle trial would be nice. My own, oh, we on, baby. There we go. Let's see if I can land it first fish on. Ain't landed it yet, baby. We got a test leader. Um, a little sand trout. Oh, yeah, a little trout. There we go. No! We'll count that. We'll count it, right? Yeah, we count it. All right, it's good. It counts, y'all. It was a trout. I wasn't recording. It's all good though. There we go. Got us a nice little sand trout. Yeah. I did catch it. I know I wasn't recording, but y'all believe me, right? Y'all y'all believe me. Whatever y'all believe me. There she go. Let's get a bigger one. It's not coming up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh, that's a red. That's a red, baby. Oh, that's a flounder. That's a flounder. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go, flounder, baby. There we go, baby. Flounder. Yes. Hey man, all I need is a, a red and um, we got us a Texas Grand Slam. Don't you mess up my camera. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes. It's the keeper. I'm not keeping fish, y'all. We got my measuring board. Sixteen inches. This is a keeper too. He lucky I'm not keeping. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. <laughs> oh, Where you going? Oh, there must be that trout. Whoa, whoa. Ah, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I'm good. No, no. Got 15 inches. Keeper. She's a keeper, baby. She's a keeper, baby. 15 inches, baby. Yeah. Need my red, man. Where my red at, boy? Flathead bugs getting it done. But that's for damn sure. Update. As you can see, I got my umbrella here. You know, all them years of bank fishing, you know what I'm saying? You got to know how to deal with these elements, and heat is one of them. So, um, my GoPro, man. My GoPro is getting hot. 
and they're overheating and shutting down. So I'm just go ahead and take a little break, let my GoPros cool off, and we can continue to trip. You know what I'm saying? Continue to trip, trip. Um, so yeah, man, I'm just trying to parlay in, and um, I'm so glad I bought this umbrella. You see what I'm saying? Cause my thought was like, when people out here in the marshes, if it starts to rain, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a good four miles, five miles from my truck. There's no overhead shelter. Like, what do you do? You just sit here and get rain on for half an hour? I'm like, well, how come nobody ever buys a, like an umbrella? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's so much cooler too under this umbrella. So yeah, I'm just gonna parlay with my, maybe I can see that, hold on. Y'all know my little neck fan, I'm bougie. I'm bougie, I don't care, I don't care. It's cool though, it's cool though. So yeah, I'll check back in and give y'all another update. Uh, I've been fishing for about 10.30, 7.30, two hours, about two hours now. Um, it's about right, it's about right. So far, so good. We got a long way to go back. But a lot more fishing to go. So let's cool off and I'll check back up with y'all. Let's Alright, so this will be a good time to do a stand test for the first time. I'm in four feet of water. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Yes, the hell with standing now. St stable isn't the word I would use. Oh, go look at that. You can definitely see it across the marsh. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I'm definitely not a fan of standing. The hell was standing on a kayak. <sighs> Never again. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Pouring rain, on to hear that train. There she comes. Get home. Yeah, man. So once again, you know, this is what the marsh is about. The kayak gives you freedom to just kind of get away from, you know, people. And you find yourself in an environment of just birds and wildlife. And what's crazy is, you know, it's Saturday, man. Labor Day Saturday. So I know right now at the jetties, there's probably 2,000 people on the jetties. But here I am in the middle of the marsh by myself. Yeah, man, that's that's priceless. That's a priceless value. Although the Hobie has a price on it. This right here is a priceless um, return. It's totally worth it, y'all. So if you ever thought about getting a kayak, I 1,000% recommend it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get anything, you know, as fancy or as expensive as a Hobie. You know, just get something that's going to be safe and that, you know, you can enjoy yourself. That's going to bring you out here to the water. Then um, once you do, you'll never look back. Get in the boat, baby. Get in the boat. Oh, man, my damn handle's about to come off, y'all. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the jewels. Watch the jewels. There we go. Another trout. Yo. 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 Beautiful species, man. Beautiful trout. They lucky I ain't, I ain't keeping fish today. They lucky I ain't keeping. Y'all wanna get a measurement? Let's see what we got on the 
board. I don't think it's the keeper. 14, 14 inches. All right, one more look, and she's out here. 5,000, baby. Okay, play. you got a player? You got a player? You got a player? Let's see if I can work it um, over this oyster reef right here without getting stuck and losing my $7 bugs. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. Right over the oyster reef. Ooh. 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 Holy, that's a nice flounder. That's a nice flounder. That's a nice flounder. Get in the boat, baby. Get in the boat. Yes. Oh. Not as big as I thought it was, but it still counts. Yes, baby. Another one. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Let's get it back in the water, man. So she can recoup. Okay, you're definitely ready. You're definitely ready. Let's go, baby. Bro, I thought that was a red the way it was pulling. Jeez. There we go. There we go. Be a red, baby. Be a red, baby. Oh, where you going? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's my red, baby. That's my slam, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Texas slam, let's go. I've been out here for like six hours. Six hours, y'all. We got it done. We got the slam. The boy set out a goal, and the goal was complete. That's the only thing that matters, man. It don't matter how long it took. Look at that bad boy. Strawberry red. Oh my God. We did it, y'all. We got the slam. Oh man. I don't think this is a keeper, though. Let me see. Let's see if it's a keeper. See if it's a keeper. <laughs> 16 inches. Not a keeper, but I'll take it, man. So we got it, man. We got the flounder, the trout, and the red. Look at that beautiful tail. See that fluorescent blue? Oh, strawberry. I want your mama, baby. Ah! All right, y'all. So I've been out here for six or seven hours, and I mean, I set out for a goal. The goal was to catch my first fish on my Hobie. Um, that first fish was a croaker. I love it. And um, yeah, man, after that, we got a speckled trout. From there, we got a flounder. After that point, my new goal was to get a Texas lamb. So all I had to do is get a red. So mission complete, man. So, you know, this is the first time I brought my kayak out to the salts. And um, yeah, man, it's, it's been a great time. It's been a great time. This is probably the best investment I've made in my life. In my life, okay? So um, I hope y'all really enjoyed the vlog. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and head home now because yeah i told my wife i'd be home by like you know 12 o'clock i'm like two hours late so you know i can't i can't marry my hobie but then again i probably could hobie wife hobie wife whatever it's been real y'all peace